Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's virtual book launch of Petroleum Reservoir Management Considerations and Practices, authored by Ashok Patak, published by CRC Press, an imprint of Taylor and Francis Group. And we are very proud to celebrate this momentous occasion with our guests. We will be circulating order form to all our attendees interested in buying the book with discount code and purchase process with availability details. And the book is also available for purchase on Amazon of your respective countries. I am Rajni Dhingra from Marketing Department at Taylor & Francis Group. This book is an illustration of groundbreaking approach and we are very proud of your association with Taylor & Francis. Thank you, Dr. Patak. Just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any questions during the session, please type them into the question or chat box. I will bring them up post the session. If you wish to ask question to any specific speaker, please add name along with the question in chat or question panel. Looking at the time limit, we will try to address as many questions possible. Else, we'll pass on your details to panelists to revert to you later. This webinar will be recorded and shared afterwards via email with all attendees. Your mics are currently muted. In case you want to speak to any speaker, please message me in the chat or question panel that unmute your mic so that I allow you to speak to speaker. Taylor & Francis Group is the provider of quality information and knowledge that enable our customers to perform their jobs efficiently enhance their education and help contribute to the advancement of their chosen market sectors. There are many benefits of to publishing with Taylor and Francis and our leading imprints Routledge and CRC Press that are highly recognized in the academic and professional communities we serve. We work with researchers, authors, editors, reviewers and customers across the international academic and corporate community. Kwasi Nasser Al Amr, the CEO KOC, Badr S. Al Munafi, the CEO Gas and Innovation KOC, Nayan Mani Borha, former CMD Oil, Mohammad Al Basri, Manager PR KOC, Ms. Modi Al Azmi, Team Leader RSNK KOC, Ashok Pathak, our author, Mili Sharma, Program Host, Dr. Gagandeep Singh, Senior Publisher, Taylor & Francis Group, and our virtual audience. It gives me immense pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of Taylor & Francis Group for the virtual book launch of Petroleum Reservoir Management, Consideration and Practices, Ashok, authored by Ashok K. Patak, a veteran petroleum engineer by qualification with more than four decades of professional experience as a reservoir engineer in various positions in ONGC and KOC. I'm sorry if I have missed any important name from our panelists. I would now like to invite Mili Sharma, the program host, to please proceed ahead with introductions and agenda and include all speakers if I have missed any. Thank you. Thank you, Rajni. Hello, hello everybody. Uh, welcome, a very warm welcome to the virtual book launch of Petroleum Reservoir Management, Considerations and Practices, written by Mr. Ashok Kumar Patak and published by CRC Press, Taylor & Francis Group, LLC. My name is Mili Sharma and I will be your host for the day. I would like to start by thanking all the participants of this event for joining us today. The canvas of this event is quite varied and colorful. For your information, among attendees, we have the presence of eminent personalities from three different time zones, Asia, Europe, and North America, seven countries, India, Kuwait, Switzerland, England, Belgium, USA, and Canada, and at least 10 sectors of the economy, namely petroleum, mining and metals, finance, defense, oil field services, electronics, information technology, consulting, and publishing. Under normal circumstances, the release of this book event would be a gala event where participants would be able to shake hands and enjoy each other's company with food and drinks. However, the huge distance between various locations in the shadow of the pandemic has paused. 
imposing constraints. As a result, the safest option is being exercised by launching the book virtually. Most of our attendees today are from Kuwait and India. The author of the book has also spent a major part of his professional life between the two national oil companies, KOC and ONGC. The contribution of these two exploration and production companies in their respective nation building is a major success story of petroleum reservoir management. On our panel today, we have very distinguished leaders and subject matter experts from the petroleum industry in Kuwait and India. Starting with Mr. Kusai Nasser Al Amer, Deputy CEO Admin at KOC. Then we have Mr. Badr Al Munafi, Deputy CEO Gas and Innovation at KOC. Then we have Mr. Muhammad Al Basri, Manager PR KOC. We have Ms. Moody Al Ajmi, Team Leader Reservoir Studies, North Kuwait at KOC. Nayan Mani Bora, former CMD, Oil India Limited. Mr. Dr. Gagandeep Singh, Senior Publisher, Engineering, CRC Press, TNF Group. Then we have the author of the book, Mr. Ashok Kumar Pathak. And lastly, we have Ms. Rajni Dingra, Senior Marketing Manager, TNF Group. So those are all our panelists oh. on board today. Uh, Rajni, are we ready with the video or do I move forward with the introductions? Uh, uh, I think, uh, can, can Mr. Uh, Moody, uh, Mili? Yes, I will now Let request, us, yeah, yeah, introductions, yes. May I now request Mr. Mohammad Al Basri, Manager PR KOC, to introduce our chief guest in Kuwait, Mr. Kusai Nasser Al Amer. Please go ahead, Mr. Basri. Good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guest why why can't we see him yeah we, we have seen him we are unable to see him mr basri uh, would you be able to turn on your webcam can you hear me can you hear me we can hear we you can he you just need to look for camera icon on your go to webinar control panel It's just right below the mic icon from where you have unmuted yourself. Sir, are, have you joined from phone or from mobile or from desktop? Desktop. Desktop. So mm. you should see uh, a camera icon. Or we can start with your yes. talk. Yeah. Okay. Now? Yeah, now, now, now good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, uh, it's it's our honor from KOC that we have Ashok Bhattat he, launching his book. And uh, today, on behalf of uh, CEO Imad Sultan, Mr. Qusay Al Amr, uh, DCO of Admin, he will deliver his speech. Mr. Ghusay, you can. Good morning, everybody, and good afternoon for who's in their time is afternoon now. Uh, I'm very proud today to be here, uh, distinguished guest, on behalf of KOC CEO, Mr. Imad Sultan. Uh, today we celebrate the release of a very special book titled Petroleum Reservoir Management, Consideration and Practices. This book by Mr. Ashok K. Bathak highlight important aspects related to the safe and efficient management of the oil prod production processes. Knowledge sharing, promotion of best practices and effective work methodologies are critical components of KOC. 
future success. And this book will serve as an important guide to our next generation of oil and gas leaders as they seek to increase their knowledge on the critical aspects and of the uh, uh, upstream processes. I would like to close this address by ex extending my thanks and appreciation to Mr. Bazar, who, Thank you, sir. Uh, who embodies all the qualities which we seek in the ideal KOC employee. He has been a loyal and a long-serving asset to KOC and his expertise and desire to share his knowledge had benefited KOC and the state of Kuwait immensely. Through this book, his contribution to our energy sustainability effort will live on for many generations to come. Thank you very much, Mr. Batak, and we, yeah, we, we hope to see you soon in Kuwait, inshallah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I now request Ms. Modi Al Ajmi, team leader, Reservoir Studies, North Kuwait, to introduce the other chief guest of ours for today, Mr. Badr Al Munafi, Deputy CEO, Gas and Innovation at KOC. Ms. Modi, over to you. Okay, good morning, everybody, and salam alaikum. It is really my pleasure and privilege today to introduce Mr. Badr Ahmed Al Munafi. Uh, DCO Gas and Innovation in Kuwait Oil Company. Mr. Badr has been my colleague, my supervisor, and my boss, and I will just go briefly through his career in uh, the oil business. Uh, Mr. Badr has graduated as petroleum engineer from Colorado School of Mines in USA, and he joined Kuwait Oil Company in 1992, mainly as a reservoir engineer. And in the past 30 years, of his professional journey, he has been winding his way through various roles and responsibility that KOC entrusted him for value creation. And alhamdulillah, every time he has remarkably maintained the trust that KOC gave to him. And that was uh, really witnessed whether in reserve growth or in uh, oil and production enhancement, uh, oil and gas production enhancement or implementing the first Kuwait uh, chemical uh, EUR pilot in uh, the largest carbonate reservoir in Mawdood Reservoir. He has done this through his career as team leader reservoir management, and then team leader reservoir studies in North Kuwait, and as manager field development in North Kuwait. And always, as I mentioned, uh, for his great commitment, KOC has recognizes and he has become the DCO of Southeast Kuwait, which is the largest hydrocarbon asset in Kuwait. And uh, uh, that was in February 2018. And since uh, April 2021, he has become the DCO of Gas and Innovation. Both Gas and Innovation are very strategic functions for us in Kuwait, and this will help Kuwait Oil Company to be a world-class uh, organization in the production and reservoir management of oil and gas. Mr. Badr is also a great supporter of implementing best practice and standardization across all of the E2B, E to B, E and P, sorry, E and B uh, segments in the company. And uh, with that, I conclude my very brief uh, introduction of Mr. Badr and Munafi. And uh, I wish him all the best. And Mr. Badr, please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Modi. Thank you for that introduction. Um, let me now perform the humble duty of introducing our third panelist and chief guest in India, Mr. Nayan Mani Bora. Mr. Bora is a 1973 petroleum engineering graduate from the Indian School of Mines with postgraduate specialization in petroleum prospecting and reservoir evalu evaluation from the Norwegian Institute of Technology in Norway. He served the Oil India Limited, a Navratna major petroleum national oil company in India, and rose to the position of director in operations and then the chairman and managing director, Oil India Limited. In these capacities, his efforts for oil and gas exploration, production, and reserves growth 
were rewarded with unprecedented success in the northeastern part of India. Gas monetization, revitalization of depleting oil fields, and business development through overseas petroleum asset acquisitions were some of his other impact areas. After the end of his term as CMD at Oil India Limited, Mr. Bora assumed the charge of member technical petroleum and natural gas in the Appellate Tribunal for Electricity at Government of India. Recipient of the Distinguished Scope Award for Excellence and Outstanding Contribution in Public Sector Management by the Honorable Prime Minister of India. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Bora. I now request Dr. Gagandeep Singh, senior, publishing, senior publisher of CRC Press, Taylor & Francis Group, to introduce himself and the book. Over to you, Mr. Singh. Thank you. Thank you, Millie. Uh, so all to all the dignitaries, good morning, good afternoon. I think it is a real pleasure to join everybody in this fine Saturday morning or afternoon where we are. Um, I was just going through my emails uh, yesterday evening just to because we do a lot of books in a year means I do a more than 100 books. So sometimes you tend to forget the history. So I think uh, one fine, I, th I would say, uh, July afternoon, I got this email from uh, Dr. Pathak that uh, that he wants to write a book, and he has been referred to me by my previous author, Professor Sukumar Laik from Indian School of Mines. So uh, he starts his email with very interesting statement, and I quote: "We have neither met before, nor do we know each other." So it started from that sentence and I think it has been a very, very nice experience. Of course, uh, there are two types of authors. One are academic authors, one are professional authors. So when we deal with professional authors, we, we, have, to, we have to be available little more than we deal with academic authors because professional authors generally have a lot of questions to ask how the book will be marketed and things like this. Uh, but I think overall, it has been a very, very good experience working with Dr. Patak. And um, petroleum engineering is one of our focus areas for the last few years. And now when we are pushing all the subject areas of science and technology into that interdisciplinary domain. So um, I think, uh, all the books related to petroleum engineering, be it offshore or onshore um, uh, in, in engineering aspects, everything is of interest to us and the books have been doing very, very well. So Dr. Patek's book, in fact, reviewed very well. We got really good reviews and uh, I feel, uh, and rest is history, I would say. But uh, technically speaking, I think uh, this book, uh, means what what his idea was to 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 basically address the optimization of costs and benefits specific to reservoirs uh, especially with respect to their location geology the properties operational activities and of course the economic uh, considerations uh, but most importantly i would say that uh, the topics which uh, Dr. Patek's book, uh, what he proposed was of particular attention to the petroleum companies over the life cycle uh, of an oil field. I feel that was the USP of the book and that was very well uh, uh, highlighted by all the reviews that we, that we got. Um, so overall means uh, the book uh, discusses about all these things um, of course, I don't want to steal the thunder from Dr. Patak because authors are the best bets. Publishers are thus uh, just there to publish the book. So we are the publishing experts, not the subject experts. Um, but from the marketing point of view, I, I would say the book carries a lot of potential and we are already looking at uh, good sales across the globe wherever our offices or wherever our distributors are there so um, 
just few points I would like to make on the book um, at the end of uh, my statements. And so I feel this is exclusive title on petroleum reservoir management uh, with an actual field performance data. And of course, there is a lot of experience which Dr. Patak has put into this book, uh, which which again is is again one of the USPs of the book. Um, this book is discussing in fact the project and price management which is very critical to oil industries uh, nowadays and, and from the technical point of view i think uh, it it covers a lot of macro management issues um, covering the reservoir life cycle from production to pricing and uh, last but not the least i think uh, one specific thing is the role of teamwork, open communication and synergy in the reservoir management. So overall, I would say the book, uh, I think, successfully covers the engineering technical part uh, management with a lot of uh, professional experience uh, coming in from the author. So we are all looking forward to this book and I just want to reiterate that it has been a real pleasure working with Dr. Patak and we hope to work with him in the future books. Uh, if I'm sure he has the energy to book, uh, work on more books in the future. Uh, but uh, I think whenever uh, we talk to our authors, we always say that uh, a relationship with author is much more than just a simple contract. So I feel this stands very true and uh, Thank you, sir, for being our author. And it has been real pleasure for you being on board. And uh, of course, your questions and phone calls are always welcome. Although most of the times I'm not able to pick your call. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. No Thank, you. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, Mr. You. Singh. Thank you for that information and also your insight. Um, we will now actually turn to the author of the book, Mr. Ashok Kumar Padha, and see what he has to say on this occasion. So over to you, Mr. Padha. Thank you, Nelly. Distinguished panelists, guests, and family members, Namaste, Salaam, Sat Shri Akal, and good morning to you all. Let me start by thanking the management and my former colleagues in Kuwait Oil Company to accept the invitation to this book launch event. They have always embraced me with affection and respect like their own family members. It's really a shame that I cannot speak their language, even though I spent 20 years in Kuwait, which I loved immensely. For those who have not seen the book, Petroleum Reservoir Management, Considerations and Practices, I believe most of you have not seen those who are attending, but this is the book which I have dedicated to number one, my alma mater, the Indian School of Mines for awakening me to the world of petroleum. My home country, India, <laughs> the very basis of who I am. My second home, Kuwait, and its people for treating me as one of their own. My family and friends for having accepted me with my shortcomings. The tree on the cover of the book symbolizes petroleum as the new Kalp Vriksh of Indian mythology for the modern world. It has the magical powers to fulfill every wish of the present civilization as evident in the oil rich countries. Likewise, 
petroleum has the potential to change lives and lifestyles however it's a non renewable source of energy and that's why there is a need for its proper management my three word summary of reservoir management is three r's rate recovery and returns and of course the principal objective of reservoir management is how to maximize these three it's a complex mission that requires deep insights into technical and economic aspects of the field development plan to realize full benefits from this kalpa vriksh well the idea of writing this book took root in the vacuum caused by my retirement it was encouraged by three industry experts jm joshi of ongc rupert weber of shell dr o e ebe ex consultant to koc and mr badar al saad al munafi of koc <clears throat> unfortunately mr joshi left for his heavenly abode the day i sat down to write the acknowledgement for this book i wish he were here with us participating in this program this book is available in soft and hard copies like rajini and dr singh mentioned it has over 400 pages in chapters that deal with various aspects of reservoir management there are chapters on petroleum reservoir life cycle operating arrangements and reservoir development reservoir management requirements significance of reservoir health and its impact on reservoir performance reservoir management policy framework oil field water management general reservoir management practices aberrations and consequences reservoir development management important lessons learned proactive reservoir management and pricing of crude oil i don't think it would serve much purpose to talk about the contents of this book any more than i mentioned but i must say even at the expense of modesty that it is for the first time that a reservoir management book has discussed the so important yet unspoken link of resource ownership control and pricing in its ambit for the first time those interested in knowing more about the book are encouraged to buy hopefully their money will be worth spent this book is a compilation of knowledge that i acquired in my years of working with the koc and ongc i want to thank these organizations for, for providing me with the exposure and opportunities to learn and share knowledge without any barriers professor rajiv shekhar director indian school of mines which is now an iit mr shashi shankar former cmd of ongc mr anam bora former cmd of oil india limited and mr badar al sal al munafi dco of koc have written very positive and encouraging four words to this book this book was completed in times of unprecedented pain and suffering caused by covid 
19 it was difficult for sensitive people to maintain their composure and at the time when electronic and print media poured stories of human devastation caused by a deadly virus. This unwelcome situation, however, provided the solitude I needed to focus on and complete the task. Ironically, the pandemic has brought people emotionally closer despite the new social order of maintaining a physical distance. While on this subject, I take this opportunity to pay my tributes to those who risk their lives to save others. Also, my heartfelt sympathies to those who lost their dear ones or could not be with them in their last moment. I know many people in my family who actually suffered because of this. Finally, I am personally satisfied that about three years of hard work has come to an end. However, it would be much more gratifying if the year of completion of my book 2020 were without a reference to the global contagion. I must thank the Taylor and Francis group, particularly Dr. Gagandeep Singh and his team that was instrumental in publishing this book. I am indebted to Kuwait and KOC for supporting me in this particular event. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for giving a patient hearing. God bless all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Pata. Thank you for sharing a brief the description of your book alongside sharing your journey as well. It was beautiful to hear about it. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we before we move on to the final phase which is the book launch uh we will have uh, miss rajni who's a senior marketing manager in taylor and francis group she will now explain the book purchase and options and uh, she will uh, let us know more details about how the ha hard copies and the soft copies will be sold so a little uh, insights about the book selling part so rajni over to you Thank you so much, Midi, and thank you all the panelists for giving deep insights and uh, sharing perspectives for the book being done. Uh, well, I would like to share with you all that all the books from Taylor and Francis are available in print and e-format. So you can purchase the book in print and e-format as per your choice directly from the website. That is www.routledge.com and I have shared the link just now in the chat window. I'll also share the link of the title which you can browse uh, and from where you can purchase the book. The book is also available for easy purchase on Amazon.com, Amazon.in and of your other e-commerce websites applicable in your region. The book is also available through the local booksellers at your in your zones in your regions and you can just simply tell them the details about the book if if they do not have the book stock with them they can source it for you i would also like to tell you that in case you want to purchase the books in bulk for your organization for your training programs for your institution or for gifting it in a uh, gifting it on a, any occasion to your network, you can simply reach out to me. I am sharing my contact details here and you can discuss the possible discounts attached with the bulk purchase. With the bulk purchase, I am not stressing on any huge number. You can go with the small unit numbers as well. So do not feel stressed or burdened there that it has to be a huge number. Well, this is a perfect book. Uh, in the petroleum segment as being discussed by all the panelists and the editor and the author. So if you're considering it for the gifting purpose on any occasion, so please write it to us and we can bundle up the good discounted proposal for any organization in need. Uh, that's it from my end and I'm sharing the book purchase book link, the product link from Routledge.com in the chat window and you can save it with you. 
Thank you. Thank you for sharing that information, Rajni. So, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the final phase of our event today, which, which is the book launch part. And please welcome, with a round of applause, our chief guest, Mr. Kusai Nasser Al Amer, Deputy CEO, Admin at Kuwait Oil Company, to launch the book. May I also request your undivided attention to listen to the address of our chief guest from Kuwait, Mr. Amer. Please, over to you. Thank you very much, Mary. And uh, actually, uh, it's, I'm, I'm honored today to be in uh, to represent Mr. Imad Sultan, KOC CEO. We are very proud to uh, see this book launched, and uh, we it will be an uh, it will be enrich our it, that book will enrich our uh, uh, library in KOC, and uh, it will be a very uh, useful tool for our new cameras in KOC in and petroleum engineers, as well engineers, as well as even uh, geologists and subsurface employees. We uh, proud today that uh, one of our uh, excellent employee, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Ashok Patak, who uh, introduced and uh, uh, the, the, and 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 give uh, provide uh, for the oil sector this book. Uh, Actually, I just want to show you that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to, to open it today. I opened it yesterday to just read what, what he's written in the, in the book. And they told me this morning that uh, you should uh, open it today. But I, I told Mr. Badr Mehfi Bohmed that I need to see it, what, what, what's written inside. And I, I went through, uh, through some of the uh, titles in, in, the, in the book. It was uh, an excellent book, useful to read. I'm not uh, a reservoir engineer or a uh, petroleum engineer. I'm an administrator, but I really, when, when, I, when I went through it, I, I, could, I, I can uh, easily understand what's uh, the missions, what's the, uh, how, how we, how we uh, take some uh, issues and uh, uh, Facing the petroleum engineers and the power engineers and their uh, duties uh, on on daily basis. Thank you, Mr. Ash Mr. Ashuk, and we hope to see you here in Kuwait again, inshallah, after this pandemic, and uh, to uh, sit with you, uh, discuss this book with, with 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 you, and to even to stay uh, or to to sit with our newcomers to to just uh, give them uh, a brief on on your book. Thank you very much, and I'm I'm really honored to be here today with you for, for, for this inauguration. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. This was our honor. This was our honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your gracious presence and kind words. <laughs> I shall now request Mr. Badr Al Munafi, Deputy CEO, Gas and Innovation at Kuwait Oil Company, to address the audience. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. It gives me a pleasure and an honor to be part of uh, this panel uh, to recognize not only a coach, a mentor, but also I consider him a family member, Mr. Asif Bakr. He has been instrumental in ensuring that any knowledge he had gained throughout his life has been passed on to the next generation. Although I am not that much of, uh, of a fan of probably sitting in meetings and ensuring that some of the technical aspects are not taken more time than the management decisions, yet Mr. Atuk Batuk has been instrumental in making it part of my job as not only a team leader, but all the way to the DCO level, and explaining what it means to be a humble but dedicated employee and a citizen. I have not seen him as an Indian when he was in Kuwait. I've always considered him as uh, one of our, uh, not only employees, but also uh, a citizen of Kuwait. This is my own uh, perception of Mr. Atur. Uh, in the past three years, 
and uh, I, I really um, I'm, I'm, I cannot tell you how much I'm happy that after three years he has been able to publish this book. And I tell you, and uh, throughout the time, and he's been hit with Corona. So considering that, and yet he issues that uh, insists on publishing something like this of a world knowledge to the next generation through the young and also dedicated individuals. I'm also saying this not only from a petroleum side, but also to the education uh, side of the game. It is very important to have the knowledge being passed on either in person or in books, but it is more important to facilitate for the young generations who have not been privileged or able to be around people like Mr. Atul, to be able to at least visualize uh, what it could be to bring value to your country, to your company, to your colleagues, and to your business. Uh, throughout the book, the reviews that I have made earlier tells me that I don't need to know him very well to know exactly what needs to be done from a subsurface point of view as a reservoir engineering or from an economical point of view. He has touched on a very important aspect of the business and that is linking the, uh, the essence of uh, technical expertise with the essence of being an economically and a business driven decision making process. So with that in mind, also I wanted to thank KOC CEO, Mr. Imad Sultan, and on his behalf, Mr. Qusayr Amr, for taking this step forward and recognizing one of our employees uh, who is part of the mosaic of KOC. We are proud to have individuals, technical experts, who consider KOC as their second home. And for me, I am really uh, proud to be part of this one. Thank you very much, Acho, for giving us opportunity to give back a little bit of what you have provided to us. And I think where we stand here today, part of it is because of your expert advice, unconditional uh, technical and human support that you've been given to Kuwait Oil Company and I'm sure you've given it to also to the industry. I'm sure this book will be a great value not only to Kuwait Oil Company and the K Company but also to places like the universities. All the best to you. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your gracious presence and kind words. May I now request Mr. N. M. Bora, former CMD, Oil India Limited, for his address and considered views about the book. Over to you, Mr. Bora. Thank you. My esteemed fellow panelists and friends from Kuwait, Dr. Asok Kumar Patak, author and a dear friend of mine, senior representatives from the publishing house, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on where exactly you are located. Thanks for that warm introduction and a kind invitation to me for participation in this function today. The unprecedented global COVID-19 pandemic and associated prolonged lockdowns tempt me to suggest that the entire mankind can be divided broadly into two classes. The first, the vast majority to which people like I belong, we have spent our lockdown time mostly by watching Netflix and the balance part by picking up unnecessary and totally avoidable 
fights and quarrels with our wives or husbands, as the case may be. I'm, of course, referring to our own respective spouses, lest you get some naughty ideas. I've also recently heard a friend say, my wife completely ignores me while she is enjoying Netflix. And my friend has therefore gladly extended her Netflix subscription for another 10 years to come. <laughs> the second category of people, a very small minority of which the author, Mr. Pathak, is a shining example, has put the lockdown time to creative use, like conceptualizing and completing a valuable book on reservoir management, to share his knowledge and experience on the subject. For this commendable achievement, I would like to wholeheartedly congratulate Ashok, my long-standing friend and batchmate of petroleum engineering from the Indian School of Mines. In this noble initiative of his, his partner in crime was Ashok's lovely and charming wife, Mira, who has backed him up with tremendous amount of support. Mira too deserves our compliments and unqualified gratitude. Reservoir management in its essence is a structured simplified model of a complex multidimensional geological system and fluid flow through porous media in that system. The model is authenticated and analyzed to derive reserve estimates and find ways and means of optimizing production rates, maximizing recovery factors and economic returns over the life cycle of an oil field. Most of the major facets of this exciting journey have been addressed in Asok's book, while the author emphasizing the need of an integrated and practical approach. Since the art and science of reservoir management calls for timely decision making in an environment of uncertainty and prudent risk taking, not losing sight of the big picture, I think is a key ingredient to achieve success. The author, through illustrations plucked from his rich and diverse field experience in different geological settings, implores the reader to focus on the big picture to the maze of enormous volume of static and dynamic data that has been studied for raspberry evaluation. I think there's an interesting question. What happens if we lose the big picture and instead focus on the nitty gritties, the nuts and bolts? Stories are like the coat pegs of human mind from where you hang your ideas. Whenever you recall a particular story, the associated idea flashes into your mind. I therefore just cannot resist the temptation to narrate a story to drive home my point about focusing on the big picture. A tourist visiting a natural history museum was admiring an exhibit of a dinosaur fossil. Another tourist standing next to him asked, do you know how old is this fossil? The first person shook his head to show his ignorance. And the second guy said, well, this fossil is 230 
million years and six months old. The first person was floored, you know, he almost fainted. He says, how can you be so precise to say 230 million years and six months old? The second guy says, well, it's very simple. You know, I visited this place six months back. And that time, the guy told me that the fossil was 230 million years old. Well, as regards nuts and bolts, the nitty gritties, he certainly got his math right. But about appreciating the big picture, the less said, the better. Ashok reinforces the need of always keeping an eye for the overall big picture in reservoir management, the need of more technology per barrel, induction of simple, appropriate, and practical technology for cost cutting and efficiency enhancement. There is a phenomenal scope and need for doing precisely that in the industry. And this I'm saying with a little bit of experience that I have had in the industry over close to four decades of my time that I spent. The roadmap that the book provides would be immensely useful for geoscience and petroleum engineering students, teaching faculty and hands-on practitioners in the industry. Because the concise and storytelling mode that the author has adopted so beautifully, the book would also be a very handy reference for senior management. The author has also introduced us, as some of my fellow panelists have already said, certain salient concepts of resource ownership and the vagaries of oil pricing and price volatility. Not a very exhaustive treatment, I'll be the first one to admit, but sufficient material has been given in the book to give some basic grounding and to ignite interest in these crucial aspects. I am very happy, particularly delighted at these inclusions since Without this, the big picture of Razor management to achieve organizational and national strategic, economic and geopolitical goals cannot simply be appreciated. All in all, Ashok and your team from the publishing house, a job very well done. Congratulations and all the best. May I end by taking this opportunity to wish you all, your friends and families, good health at a point of time when the world and all of us are really passing through very trying circumstances. Please take care and stay healthy. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your gracious presence and kind words. So, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the close of the event. And we have Millie, enjoyed, yeah. Millie, do we have the videos, KOC videos? Maybe they will be of interest to the attendees. If That's really really good. That so would we be. have just yeah. messaged everyone the videos link. Due to a technical error in the platform, the videos are not playing in the back end. And okay. uh, yeah, so I have okay. shared the link with all the attendees and they will also share the videos link in the webinar recording upon, uh, yes, tomorrow. Great, all right, thank, thank you. you Rajni. So for people in the audience, if you would like to know more about KOC and ONGC, please follow the link and you'll be able to see those introductory videos and I assure you, you're gonna enjoy it. So, well, that brings us to the close. Uh, uh, are there any more further remarks anybody would like to add before I propose the vote of thanks from the panelists? Mr. Pata? Yes, I would like to say. Please go ahead, sir. Yes. First of all, uh, as this is the first book, I'm expecting the second book very soon, Mr. Rasho. <laughs> <laughs> <What's this>, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let's see how it goes.
<laughs> inshallah, inshallah. Now, all the best to you and your family. And definitely, you will always have uh, enough of support to generate uh, more of uh, the values to the business. Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I, I personally want to thank Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Badr, Mr. Al-Basri, Mr. Bora, and Ms. Moody to be present here. You really made my day, not this day, probably the year 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. You. So we thank you once again for your attention and presence. I would like to personally also thanks, uh, thank uh, a few people on Mr. Pathak's behalf, which would majorly be AOC, ONGC, Oil India Limited, Indian School of Mines, and I would also like to thank all the family and friends for their support towards the author. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a great day ahead or have a great evening ahead and take care of yourself, stay safe. And that's all for me. That's all for us today. Thank you for being a participant. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank all you. The all the best. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.